Our objective for this lesson is to solve exponential equations. Let's have a review first of exponential expression. Exponential expression is a mathematical expression consisting of a base that is a constant, which is raised to an exponent that contains a variable. So these are exponential expressions. How about exponential equations since we are going to solve exponential equation in this lesson? It is an equation in which one or both sides are exponential expressions. Let us also review loss of exponents. For multiplication of exponents, we simply copy the base. So in this case, the base is 3, so we copy 3. And then we add the exponents. So 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So we have 3 to the 8th power. For power of exponents, we multiply the exponents. So we copy the base, 3, and then 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 3 to the 15th power. In this case, we distribute the exponents. So we have 3 to the 3rd power, or 3 cubed, times 2 to the 3rd power, or 2 cubed. So 3 cubed times 2 cubed. For division of exponents, we copy the base, so 3, and then we subtract the exponents. 5 minus 3 is 2, so we have 3 squared. For exponents of 0, any number except 0 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And for negative exponents, if you have a negative exponent and you bring the whole expression down, the negative exponent becomes positive. And if you have a negative exponent in the denominator and you bring the expression up, the negative exponent becomes positive. One-to-one -one property of exponential equations. If x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2, then b raised to x sub 1 is not equal to b raised to x sub 2. Conversely, if b raised to x sub 1 is equal to b raised to x sub 2, then x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2. It means exponential expressions on both sides are equal if they have the same bases and their exponents are equal. Also, if their exponents are equal, it follows that their bases are equal too. Let us start solving. Let's have an example first wherein only one side is an exponential expression. Step 1. Isolate the exponential expression, meaning we're going to move negative 5 to the other side, so it will become positive. And then 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Step 2. Rewrite both sides of the equation as powers having the same base. So my base here is 3 and here is 9, so I can express 9 as 3 squared. 3 squared means 3 times 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So I'll copy 3 raised to 2x plus 1, and then I'll replace 9 with 3 squared. Now I have the same base. Step 3. Ignore the bases. Set the exponents equal to each other and solve. Because we have the same base, let us now focus our attention with the exponents. Let us equate them. So 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. Then let us solve for x. So let us move 1 to the other side, so it will become minus 1. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, so 2x is equal to 1. And then to solve for x, let us divide both sides by 2. So 2 will be cancelled out, so we have x is equal to 1 half. Last step. Check your answer. For checking, let's have our original equation and let's recall our answer for x. x is equal to 1 half. All we have to do is to substitute 1 half for x. So we have 3 raised to 2 times 1 half plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 4. Are they equal? So 2 and 2 will be cancelled out, leaving us with 3 raised to 1 plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 4. Are they equal? 1 plus 1 is 2, so 3 is squared minus 5 is equal to 4. Are they equal? 3 is squared is 9, so we have 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Are they equal? 9 minus 5 is 4 equals 4. Are they equal? Yes, they are. Therefore, our answer x equals 1 half is correct. Let's have another example. 
4 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 16. Again, step 1, isolate the exponential expression. Since the exponential expression is already isolated on one side, let us just copy the equation. Step 2, rewrite both sides of the equation as powers having the same base. So, my base here is 4 and here is 16. I can express 16 as 4 squared. 4 squared is 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So I'll copy 4 raised to x minus 1 and then I'll replace 16 with 4 squared. Now I have the same base. Step 3. Ignore the bases. Set the exponents equal to each other and solve. So let us focus our attention to the exponents. So I have x minus 1 is equal to 2. Then let us solve for x. Let us move negative 1 to the other side. It will become positive 1. And 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3. And last step, check your answer. Let's have a quick checking on this. Let us substitute our value of x to the equation. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So 4 is squared is equal to 16. And 4 squared is equal to 16. So 16 is equal to 16. Therefore, our answer x equals 3 is correct. This time, let us have an exponential equation wherein both sides are exponential expressions. Basically, they have the same steps. Step 1. Isolate the exponential expressions on both sides. So, exponential expression on the left and exponential expression on the right. Since they are already isolated, let's just copy the equation. Step 2. Rewrite both sides of the equation as powers having the same base. So once again, we have to make our bases the same. So for here, I'll just copy 3 raised to x plus 1. And then I'll replace 9 with 3 squared. And then I'll just copy x minus 2. Now let us simplify this. So I'll copy this again. And then on this side, we'll apply the powers of exponents. So we have to multiply the exponents. So we'll distribute 2 on each terms here. So we have 2 times x is 3 raised to 2x. Then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Step 3. Ignore the bases since they are already the same. Let us focus our attention on the exponents. So we have x plus 1 equals 2x minus 4 and solve for x. So let us move negative 4 on this side and x on this side. So we have 1 plus 4 is equal to 2x minus x. 1 plus 4 is 5, 2x minus x is x. So we have 5 equals x or x equals 5. And then check your answer. For checking, once again, our original equation and our answer, x is equal to 5, let us substitute 5 in our x's here. So we have 3 raised to 5 plus 1 is equal to 9 raised to 5 minus 2. Are they equal? 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 minus 2 is 3. So we have 3 raised to 6 is equal to 9 raised to 3. Are they equal? Since 3 raised to 6 is quite a big number to evaluate, I'll just replace 9 with 3 squared. So I'll have 3 raised to 6, simply copy. I'll replace 9 with 3 squared and then I'll copy 3. Are they equal? Applying powers of exponents, then I have to multiply this too. And 2 times 3 is 6. So I'll have 3 raised to 6 is equal to 3 raised to 6. Are they equal? Yes, they are. Therefore, our answer, x equals 5, is correct. Another example, so step 1 again, isolate the exponential expressions on both sides. They are already isolated, so let's just copy the equation. Let's proceed to step 2. Let us make our bases the same, so 125 and 25. But I cannot express 125 as 25 squared because 25 squared is 25 times 25 
equals 625, not 125. So I still have to think of another base that is raised to a certain exponent that is equal to 125 and using that same base raised to a certain exponent that is equivalent to 25. So I'll replace 125 with 5 cubed and I'll replace 25 with 5 squared. 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 1 to 5. 5 squared means 5 times 5, and that is equal to 25. Now I have the same base, but I still have to simplify this. So in simplifying, we have to multiply these exponents and also these exponents. So we have 3 times x is 3x, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So we have 5 raised to 3x minus 3. On this side, 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 5 raised to 2x plus 6. Next step. Since we have the same basis, let us focus our attention to our exponent. So we have 3x minus 3 equals 2x plus 6. So let us move 2x to the other side and negative 3 on the other side. So we have 3x minus 2x equals 6 plus 3. 3x minus 2x is x and x plus 3 is 9. So we have x equals 9. And last step, check your answer. I'll leave the checking to you. Let's have one more. So step one again, isolate the exponential expressions on both sides. They are already isolated. So let's just copy the equation. Step two, let us make our bases the same. For four, I'm going to make this as two squared. So two squared and then I'll copy x. For one half, remember that the exponent of two here is positive one. And if I am going to move my denominator up, the positive 1 exponent will become negative 1. So it will be 2 raised to negative 1. And then copy x minus 3. Now I have the same base. I'll just have to simplify. So 2 times x is 2x. So 2 raised to 2x. And then for here, negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So I have 2 raised to negative x plus 3. I can now move to step 3. So let us equate the exponent. So 2x is equal to negative x plus 3. So let us move negative x to the other side. So that will be 2x plus x equals 3. 2x plus x is 3x. So 3x equals 3. Let us divide both sides by 3. 3 will be canceled out. So we have 3 divided by 3 is 1. So x is equal to 1. And last step, check your answer. You do the checking. Now, what if we have this? Solve for x. 54 is equal to 2x cubed. So what are we going to do? Now, first rule in math, if you can simplify the given, simplify it first. So what I'm going to do here is to divide both sides by 2. So I have 54 divided by 2 equals 2x cubed divided by 2. 54 divided by 2 is 27, and 2 and 2 here will cancel out. So I have 27 is equal to x cubed. So I have to think of an expression, exponential expression, wherein my exponent is 3. And 27 is 3 cubed. So 3 cubed is equal to x cubed. Now, here's the thing. If our exponents are equal, it follows that our bases are equal to. So, it means x is equal to 3. Now, let us check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Here is the answer. I'll skip step 1 because the exponential expressions are already isolated. So let's proceed to step 2. Let's make our bases the same. So I'll express 8 as 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2. And I'll express 4 as 2 squared, 2 times 2. 
So I have 2 cubed and then copy x. Then for 4, I have 2 squared and then copy x plus 1. And then I'll simplify this. 3 times x is 3x. So on this side, I have 2 raised to 3x. For here, 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 1 is 2. So I'll have 2 raised to 3x equals 2 raised to 2x plus 2. Step 3, let us equate the exponents. So 3x equals 2x plus 2. Let us move 2x on this side. So 3x minus 2x is equal to 2. 3x minus 2x is x. So x is equal to 2. Now let us check our answer. So let us substitute 2 in our original equation. So if this is 2, that is 8 is squared. And 8 squared is 64. If this is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So this will be 4 cubed. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which is also 64. So 64 is equal to 64. Therefore, x equals 2 is correct. Gets?